To start off this new year, I thought I would try a brand of watercolors that is new to me. I got the Schminky 140 dot card where I can test and try all the colors that they have with the exception of their new granulating line. Okay, I have not opened this. I got this a while ago and I just haven't had a chance to really sit down and go over their colors. It said that many colors within the range are characterized by special pigments such as perlines and quinacridones. It's the perfect complement to the wide assortment due to their transparent, particularly glazing and especially luminous character. The purpose of these books is to allow artists to test out different colors without having to purchase an entire tube. So it'll allow me to um, test it on this paper. It is a watercolor paper. And this is nice that they have in there. It's quite thick and it prevented it from, you know, smearing together when it was closed. Beautiful variety here. I've heard of Schminky for a long time. I just haven't had the chance to try them out yet. So I've got my brush here. I've got some water and We'll test them out here and then I'm going to do a small painting in my sketchbook and this will really help me decide what colors I want to purchase for a palette. I really want a schminky palette and this will help kind of give me an idea of what I would like. They do have some whites here which I'm not sure how well we'll be able to see them on this paper but this one is a titanium opaque white. Now, usually when doing, when getting a dot card, it's not really enough paint to utilize for much other than swatching to see if you want it. You can obviously have a little bit of painting to do a few washes in a very quick painting, which is what I'm going to do. But outside of that, that's, it's mostly just to help artists decide what they want. So you don't have to buy a $15, $20 tube of paint and find out you don't like it. Here's the permanent Chinese white. Sorry, for a second there, I thought I was reading that wrong, but it's, the second line is in English. You said you're not gonna see much on those ones. The dot card has some symbols on it that tell us about each pigment. The stars tell us how light fast or how quickly a pigment will fade. They range from one star being less light fast to five being extremely light fast. The letter G will tell us if a pigment is granulating. No G means it's non-granulating. The triangle will tell us how staining a pigment is. A blank triangle is non-staining. A half filled in triangle is semi-staining and a filled in triangle is staining. And same for the squares. A blank square is transparent. A square with a diagonal is semi-transparent. A square with half filled in is semi-opaque. And a filled in square is opaque. I think it's good to try out other brands and materials every once in a while just to see what else we like. I mean, a lot of what I've used over the years has stemmed from either what my teachers, you know, my professors or workshops, what those teachers used and we would get those and I accumulated some paints from them and have found favorites from that. But I think it's also good to go out and figure out what I like, what I like based on what it is I want to paint because what I want to paint and what my professors want to paint or teachers or classes that I learn from can be very different and you find different uses for the different colors, how they blend together, how they work alone, what you want to do. You know, it's really up to each individual person. You, there's no right or wrong answer as far as what color to use, what yellow or red, you know, is it's up to us to decide what we feel works for our paintings. 
I do try to make sure I get good quality as far as light fastness goes because I do have people purchasing my paintings and commissioning me to do things. So I want to make sure that it's going to last them a long time. So I will pick my pigments and paints within um, the professional grade and make sure that they are light fast. I try to make sure anything that I am selling, anything that I'm being commissioned to do is high quality for my customers so that it lasts for them. Ooh, I like this. I like having this chart because then you can always refer back to it if you want to reorder something or just to look at how your paints react. It's always good to have swatches to see how your paint is going to look not just you know in the paint but once it's dry that way when i'm going to do a painting i can even just look at it and then you do further swatching of mixes that you would like that you can refer back to it saves a lot of time this is a quinacridone color i really love quinacridones I have a lot of them and use them a lot. They're a highly light fast pigment. I'm just gonna quickly go through all these and then we'll talk about my thoughts on it. Otherwise, going through 140 of these will take quite a while. I've been introduced to them and I know most of the ones I've gotten have been from Danielle Smith. I've gotten a few from Sennelier. It's nice to see some here and I really love how saturated and pigmented they are. This one here, the Ruby Red Deep, that is one they stated is one of their quinacridones, but not by name, but by hue. I'm excited to try and paint with these and actually do a little painting because I'm really happy with the vibrancy of and it's just beautiful. Not that the ones that I have aren't because they are beautiful. Just get excited about a new paint and try them out and see what I think of them. And I, I don't really commit to necessarily just one because I have found that there are some colors um, and pigments that I don't care for in certain brands and some that I absolutely love in those same brands. Uh, I actually talk about that in a video here. If you want to see that video, check it out. I will link it in the card and down below.
this one. This one. Nice.
this one says it's matter brown, but it looks red to me. I'm going to take a little break from painting swatches and then I'm going to create a quick sketch now so we can try out these watercolors in a painting. In case you were wondering, I am using the Noodler's Black ink and putting it into a Lamy fountain pen. There's silver. It's more of a metallic color. I use metallics occasionally. There's their gold.
Brilliant Opera Rose. Wow. It is transparent and non-staining. And it has no light vastness. So while it's beautiful, it would fade very quickly, uh, as well as this one, the Brilliant Purple. These ones are fun for like maybe in your sketchbook, but I would not put these ones in a professional painting to give to somebody because they are going to fade very quickly over time. They don't have a light fastness rating, so I would not trust that in it. I want to make sure that it's going to last. I don't want in a month or two or even in a year for it to be fading on them. If you're going to just make prints of something and not sell the original, that would be one thing. But if you are going to be selling an original of something, um, stick with the ones with the highlight fastness. I finished all 140 of these. I really like them. I'm not surprised because I've heard a lot of really great things in comparison to Daniel Smith and Sonolier. So I knew that they were going to be a good brand, but I I am very pleased with how many of them have a really good saturation and um, vibrancy to them. I'm really excited to pick some colors and start a palette with using Schminky and add this to my paints. So we're going to have fun. I know it's a little crooked. This is just a fun quick sketch in my watercolor sketchbook. This is a Strathmore. It is not 100% cotton paper, but I wanted to do um, pen and do this in my sketchbook here. So let's get started. Doing this dot card really allowed me to make more informed decisions on what paints I would actually purchase, which ones that I had a lot of fun when when I put water onto the paint and it came out. There were certain colors that really just spoke to me that I will be purchasing for myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more video ideas, check out these ones here. I have one on trying out Ohu markers, as well as creating my own creature. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell to be notified when I upload new videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!